Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel is no stranger to having really strong monster cards. And when you're looking for the strongest, there are tons of cards vying for that top number one spot. But in this video, I would like to propose a different monster. A new favorite of mine, and one that I think can easily beat just about any other card in the game. I'm of course talking about Psychic Rover. Now hear me out. I've recently been playing a ton with this dice deck I've been using, and I wanted to have an entire video dedicated to just using this deck, and more importantly, Psychic Rover. But will this card actually be able to stand up to whatever online rank throws up against us? Well, that's exactly what we're going to find out right now. I slipped back into Platinum because I, I think I forgot to rank up last season. Ooh, do I just go second or do I go first? I'm going first. Why not? I got to trust in my dice to lead the way. Ooh, I already drew Dice Dungeon in that six. That is crazy. Dice Dungeon, go. Immediate playing Dice Dungeon. I do not care. Save it. Add Dimension Dice to my hand. Love to see that. We've got some powerful cards in here as well. Honestly, if I wasn't the guy I am, I wouldn't do this, but I think I have to be, right? I think I literally have to summon Ash Blossom. Hear me out on this. Hear me out on this. Because I have Ash Blossom on the field, that allows me to activate Dimension Dice. If I control a card with an effect that requires a dice roll, being my field spell, Dice Dungeon, then I can tribute one monster and special summon one monster with an effect that rolls a dice from my deck. Normally, I'd be using this to go into my boss monster, but in this specific situation, I think I need to summon the strongest card in Yu-Gi-Oh! Psychic Rover. This card is a beast. Uh, I'm not going to use this effect because it wouldn't do me much good now, but I'm just going to use it to play defensive, try to, try to live my life, keep a card in my hand to discard, and use that six to blow away his field. This could be the greatest round of Yu-Gi-Oh! of all time if I don't get absolutely demolished. We'll see what happens. I can't believe we've got Psychic Rover on the field. Now, I did have to use Dice Dungeon to do it and Dimension Dice, and I had to lose Ash Blossom. That's the real big hit here. Everything else I'm totally okay with, though. The power of this is that we can just super poly any dark away. We can super poly any dark away for a monster negate, right? Is that how it works? Hold on. Hold on. I need to read. I need to read. We need one fusion monster plus one dark monster. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. If a fusion monster comes out, which I don't think, I don't think he'll be playing dark magicians. Um, but if he did, we could go at lightning storm. He's going to go for my spells and traps. No, no, that is so lame, dude. Lightning storm in this current year, in this current day, 2024, dude, we're running lightning storm in 2024. Well, uh, psychic Rover is going to have to do a lot of heavy lifting here, guys. A lot of heavy lifting. Okay. Get soul servant to the hand. This is a dark magician player in his prime right now. Let psychic Rover pop off though. He's battling Psychic Rover. We're going to see his imaginary technique activate. Psychic Rover in the graveyard. As long as he doesn't roll a one or a six, it's a two, which means Psychic Rover comes right back to the field, allowing his other ability to activate. Now we want to roll a one or a six. And because we get a one, we get to destroy up to two cards. We'll target the two cards on his field. What a blow up. You don't mess with Psychic Rover, buddy. Main phase two, get him out of here. Let's go. Sadly, I don't have any attack points. Ooh, that's, you know what? This is fine. You know what? This is actually fine. I'm starting to think that we should probably just set evenly matched. Is that a thing to do? I'm going to do it. Why not? We're going to set evenly match and just go into the next turn. I really need dice dungeon so that Psychic Rover actually has a chance to be able to hit on things. I'm saving Max C so that we could actually get it. Magician's Rod comes out. Oh, there it is, boys. There it is. We're going to get some special summons here. Let's go. Let the Max C start Max C in. When the Max C is Max C. Come on. Give me my cards. You know I want some cards. Go ahead. Yoink. Give me that. Oh, dice jar. Another great dice card in the dice deck. This is a beautiful duel so far. Even if we don't lose, even if we don't win, sorry. Psychic Rover's already, already absolutely mastered his technique. Dude, tell me this guy isn't the honored one for real. L look him in the eyes, bro. Dark Magical Circle is, is a blow up card though, I'm not gonna lie. Dark Magical Circle is a huge blow up card for me because of the banish effect. That is horrendous for me. Hey, come on, man. You don't want to send it from the field, bro? You coward, bro. Come on. Battle phase. Is he going to try again? This is a huge... What if What if he pops my effect? Psychic Rover in the graveyard. Not a one or a six. Oh, no. No. Oh, 
Oh, when the match is even. Let's just banish his board a little bit. Wow, he actually got... Does he have another spell card? Did he draw three? I mean, it's not looking good for me either way, man. I lost my... Oh, wait, wait. I still have Maxi going, bro. You forgot about Maxi? Doink. Give me that. Or God. Okay, thank God we didn't have to draw that normally. Please special summon another monster. Oh, okay. We really need to draw a field spell. Ooh. Do I just want to save that? There's no way he kills me next turn, right? I think we just save that. I'm just going to set Dice Jar and go next. Why not? Why not? Let's let's get a little risky with it. Oh my God. I wish I had card destruction, man. Illusion of Chaos is just popping off in his hand. Well, I wish I still had my max seed, man. Wish I had another max seed, to be honest. I think we're just going to get blown out right now, but we'll have to see. Dark Magician. Man, you're lucky Psychic Rover hit a six, man. Oh, Psychic Rover, you were my goat. Man, I bet it all on you. And I'll, and I'll do it again, too. You're my hero. <gasps> Did he find... Nope. Magician of Chaos. Wow, a lot of special summoning going on here. Battle phase, though. It's time to play some... Oh, no. I still don't die, though. I still don't die. I still don't die, and we're going to hit a lot of banishes here in a second. So I'm kind of feeling still... Wait, do we die? No, surely not. We're in the battable phase. Ooh, it's a lot of monsters, right? 2,500 attack? Am I dead? Dice jar! Oh, wait. If dice jar hits me, I die. Oh, wait. No, I just negated. No, no, wait. No, it didn't. Five? Oh, I'm going to die. <laughs> no, wait. No, I'm not. I'm crazy. I have 500. I died. <laughs> I forgot the stupid link monster could attack. Forgive me. Ah. Oh. I hate it here. Okay. You know, I just lost the dice game. I can't be that mad. Let's get into the next one. So yeah, I'm basically I'm kind of running with a going second, you know, kind of strategy here. If anybody can make a better dice deck though, please let me know. I would love, absolutely love to play some better deck list involving Psychic Rover and even Orgoth if you could. Orgoth is kind of like a sick, uh oh my God, this hand is some ass. I'm just shotgunning Maxi. It's the only way we're living this. Shotgun Maxi, we just got to hope. We got to hope and we got to pray right now. Does he stop it? Or is he going to try to play around it? Playing around it honestly wouldn't be too bad for him, um, but obviously he doesn't know I'm playing a dice deck, so we gotta see. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so I shouldn't have shotgunned it. He actually did have a way of special summoning to chain it. So we're gonna take a minor loss on that, but the maxi still goes off. How much special summoning is he really gonna do, though, I guess? Uh, hopefully we get at least one more. I'm gonna Ash Blossom that. I'm gonna Ash Blossom that one. Just hope that works out for me. Am I gonna have to just swing on this with Dice Jar? I feel like he's got a special summon to get away with it now. Well, I don't think he's doing any... Damn. Can I get Psychic Rover? Actually, that wouldn't help. Or got the rhythm. Stop it. Please. Please, bro. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to swing on it. I don't know what else to do. do. Is there any other thing I can do? I start swing? Surely you have something. I mean, <laughs> I mean, come on, dude. Ah, uh, thanks for banishing my that six into ash blossom into something else appreciate that uh, definitely didn't need it all right so we're probably gonna lose this duel didn't get the best opening hand maybe i gotta drop orgoth down to one <laughs> one copy of orgoth okay as the link summons come out my faith in winning this game is hitting an all-time low i'm going to surrender now <laughs> <laughs> we just we didn't have the hand on board to win that one i'm gonna be honest, our, our opponent got it on that one so here's the list i think i am actually gonna drop orgoth to one and throw a draw card in there whoa what a win with the dice deck let's go to the next game obviously that one doesn't count Okay, a pretty decent hand. Obviously, it's not a super funny one, but we did actually get a couple of going to plays as well as an Ash Blossom to slow our opponent down. So, ooh, I feel like that's an insta Ash Blossom, honestly. I feel like you see reinforcement of the army, you might as well Ash Blossom. But maybe that, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's just me. Because if they're playing Vanquish Soul, I guess technically you could have stopped the Raisin. Oh, it's Elemental Heroes. Oh, I probably could have stopped this. Oh, it's not Elemental Heroes. <laughs> That is not an elemental hero. Scareclaw the Lightheart. I really don't like this card. I think it's too Funko Pop. I, I don't know how to describe it. Primitive Planet comes out. All right, we're just seeing some... I kind of want to build a Scareclaw deck. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. I kind of do. Visa Starfrost hits the field. What's the play here? What's the play here? Are we going to see any negates? Am I, am I just going to win off evenly matched? He gets Scareclaw back onto the field thanks to the Visa Starfrost. The lore is, is popping off right now. Another Funko Pop. It links into this. And there's Vicious Astral out. I don't even know what this card does. I have to read. Elemental Hero Prisma's on board. Sprite Sprind. Hey, what's what's going on here, bro? How many negates are you getting on board? Zero? I want it to be zero. Oh, no, brother. Stop playing cards. Stop playing cards. Tri-Brigade what? 
I can't keep up. He's linking too fast. I never know what cards I should be reading or not. If this card is discarded to the graveyard special summon it, okay. He's just kind of here for the ride, I guess. I get that. I feel that. I feel that. Ah, uh, there's your little negate, dude. There's your little negate. Ah, uh, so I have to find a way around that. What I could do is pressure... Oh, God, it's not even over. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Two monsters with the same attribute. <gasps> is that true? Is that what all Mud Dragon needs? I need to check again. I need a, I need a Redux. Same attribute, but different types. Boom! We are in there, baby. We are back. We are so back. All righty then, guys. Let's play some good going second Yu-Gi-Oh! Draw! Ooh! I never thought it'd feel so good. So uh, let's go ahead and super poly. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much. I'll go ahead and discard. I mean, I shouldn't, but I feel like I the best bet is probably Dice Jar. <laughs> I'll go ahead and discard Dice Jar. Mud Dragon of the Swamp. Why, of course I would like that. Give me yoink and yoink and bye-bye. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Mud Dragon of the Swamp here. He's kind of just standing there menacingly. All right, let's get a pressure planted up. Ooh, I should have evenly matched before that. Damn. I'm just going to do this to this. Uh, do I just do Earth? I'll just do Earth. I'll do Earth because uh, I got Fenrir in the back pocket. No big deal. No big deal. I mean, technically, we also have another Super Poly. So we might be able to push for a game with absolutely no dice cards at all. <laughs> I don't really know if that's exciting and or fun, but uh, I'm still going to try. Oh, I seem to have misread the card. Oh, I did not read the card enough. Yeah, I'm going to add the Fenrir to my deck. Yep. Uh, sitting at a sweet 2200 here. I guess I'm going into the battle phase. What is he cooking at here? I'm just, I don't know if there's a better target to swing on. I'm just going to go ahead and do Sprite Sprine. And if this doesn't work, I'm also chill with that. If he blows up Mud Dragon, I'm, I'm chilling. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. I guess I set Super Poly here and just end my turn. I'm not too sure if we're winning this one. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if uh, the old dice deck featuring no dice cards is going to be able to pull this one out. Okay, I think he's returning old Mud Dragon here. Oh, Pressure Planet. Okay, I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. I guess that's only if we get to live, though. The living's a pretty huge deal here. <laughs> I really need to live, bro. I want it evenly matched, at least. I, I, let me get my funny haha -ha in. Okay, I'm gonna call it. Thank you very much. Please do not target any of my earth monsters. Ah, oh, damn. I should have waited. I should have waited. I should have done it in reaction, but I didn't. Oh, didn't work. <laughs> okay, big banish here. Tri Brigade Nervals trying to bring out something. Ooh. Hello, hello. I've been waiting all day for you, buddy. I've been waiting all day for a little monster negate. Yeah, get him out of here. Get him up out of here. Get him up out of here. That was a crazy game for the dice deck to win, by the way. That was just the going second package doing its thing. Let's get into the next duel. Maybe use some Psychic Rover, some dice? I hope so. Okay, a new duel begins. I really want to see Psychic Rover opening hand. Oh, I'm seeing double. Doth my eyes deceive me. We also got triple tactics thrust. Oh, could I not have opened with Maxi this one duel? Please, man. I would have been going crazy. And, ah. Uh, Cast hero means banishes are going to be all over the place, man. Oh, this is going to be a tough one. This is going to be a tough one. Psychic Rover getting banished is like top, top tier worst thing to ever happen. Okay, we're seeing some fire formation tanky going on here. Clearly, this is a uh, a different build than your average beast. Some Zodiacs. Well, what do we got? What, what's going on here? There's Zodiac going. He's building the overlay network with just a bunch of Zodiacs. The Zodiac is, is turning into another Zodiac. Oh, my God. <laughs> Man, if I had if I had sphere mode right now, I'd be smiling ear to ear. Damn, that is a tough board to beat, man. <laughs> but what if I actually have a what if I actually have a great plan to save the day here? Never mind. <laughs> I don't know what it would take to win now. What got banished? What got banished? <gasps> Dice dungeon and evenly matched. Oh my god. Not Dice Dungeon, man. I can't have any good things. Oh my god. It would have been so good, dude. And now Arise Heart just bodies the Psychic Rover strategy. Oh my gosh. What an absolute body of a hand. All right, let's try to play our way through it, though. I think up first, well, up first is my opponent's going to play. I think we immediately triple tactics thrust. Why not? Uh, and I think because we don't have to set it, right? I think we just immediately grab evenly matched. Do we just evenly matched our way out of this? Is that how this is going to work? Or does he get the... Do we just get to go crazy? 
Do, is the match truly even right now? When the match is this even, how can I be sad? Oh, the match is so even right now. That's crazy. The match is so even right now. That is that is wild. Oh, I love when a I love when a match is just even, man. I like actually just love it. And now we're gonna bait out the search on Venrir. That's gonna get negated. Oh, it didn't get negated. We're gonna get Fenrir. <laughs> Special summon Fenrir in attack mode. Even though I don't get to attack, so I'm kind of stupid. And then we set Psychic Rover because that's totally fine. And then we end our turn. The match was so even. I can't even be upset. That match was so even. Holy moly. What a duel. What an even duel. Now, the problem is if a Rise Heart doesn't leave the field before Psychic Rover dies, Psychic Rover is not even going to get a, a chance to be the best card in the game because a Rise Heart is bullying him into the banished pile. Okay, but can I... Oh, I can't Fenrir chain to that. That's fine. No, it's not, actually. That's bad. It's definitely not good. Definitely not good is what it's not. Okay, he gets a card back. Please, I think the only way through is if he kills Psychic Rover now. Oh, brother. That shouldn't be allowed, by the way. Uh, Zodiac Barrage is crazy. Oh, brother. No, no, no. <laughs> Please, I'm not ready to die. I want to be, I want to use my effect. I don't want to be banished. Oh, God. Damn it. How am I going to duel my way out of this one, man? Evenly matched isn't even a good option because I have pressured planet on the board. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. How am I going to get out of this one? Dice Dungeon's not a bad, not a bad card. Um, do we Dice Dungeon first, though? Does it matter? Technically, it doesn't. Dice Dungeon, added dimension dice to our hand. That, of course, is fun. Now we're going to get to Triple Tactics Thrust. I just don't know what we're going to get off of it, though. If Fenrir, if he just wasn't on board, dude. If he just wasn't here, if he just didn't banish everything in sight, we would be fine. Ooh. <laughs> No! 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 Let it go! No! <laughs> no! 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 Did I have to do that? No! 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 That was not the play. That was so not the play. It's crazy. Uh, I'll activate Dice Dungeon. Sure. Oh my God, dude! If I had triple tactics, I'm so sick. <sighs> I'm so sick right now. I'm so sick right now. I'm so sick right now. Oh, dude. Why did I not add it to my hand? Why did I not add it to my hand, man? Oh. oh. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. I, I can't. I can't. I can't take it. I can't take it. Please don't summon a monster. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, I can't believe the throws. Unless I didn't mess up, but I think I just did. Of course I did. Oh, the throws. That was so crazy. That was so crazy. I would have taken him, dice dungeon him away, summoned Orgoth probably, and just beat him. Dude, dude, dude. I'm actually upset. I'm so upset at myself. Why can you not back out of that? Why can you not? I should be allowed to recognize my mistake, Konami. It's a button. I just clicked the wrong button. Ooh. All right. All right. You're kind of spitting a little bit. Man, opening up two thrusts was kind of crazy, though. Um, Fenrir into a search. Do we care about that? I don't think so. All right, we definitely cared. All right, well, it's looking pretty bad. <laughs> this duel is looking pretty... Ugh, I'm so upset. I'm so upset we lost that last duel. I am actually, like, crazy upset. Um, ah, what? Okay, well, we have a way around that, so we can still play the game a little bit. But who is he, who is he milling? I guess I just risked this. Oof. Oof. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm going to say no to, dude. You do not get to draw one card. Never in your life try to draw a card on me again. Looking at me stumped. He doesn't even know. Wow. Really? For that? You're using your negate for that? Okay. Um, Not a crazy board by any means. Ooh. Oh, 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 yes. Yes, dude. Yes. All right. All right. Let's, let's start actually doing some cooking here. I'm going to say no to that one again, man. going to say no. I, I'm not going to let you just mill cards here. I feel like it's my turn to play. I think you should respect that. Thank you very much. All right. So now that it's our turn to play, let me show you why Psychic Rover is one of the most feared cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel by all players. Even 
top tournament players fear him as well. We're going to activate Dice Dungeon, allowing us to get Dimension Dice from our deck to our hand. Now, here's how we're going to play the game here, fellas. Here's how we're going to play the game here. We're going to Normal Summon Psychic Rover in attack mode. Not a very powerful opponent, but... We're going to send him to the graveyard and dimension the dice. This allows us to special summon any monster from our deck that mentions a dice roll. And now we're not gonna summon Orgoth right away. We're actually gonna go with Psychic Rover number two. That's gonna pop this Psychic Rover's effect. And if we get a one or a six, we get to pop two cards. Then we get to activate Psychic Rover in the graveyard. So now we don't wanna see a one or six. Okay, so effect Baylor on the Psychic Rover on the field. That does not matter at all. It's gonna stop one of our rolls, but that's fine. I probably could have booked a moon to dodge it if I'm feeling that crazy, but. Psychic Rover, we get a five, so he gets to come back. Boom, he hits the field like nobody's business. Psychic Rover number one uh, negated, but that means Psychic Rover number two can go ahead and play the game. We wanna see a one or a six right here. Pure Lament's thing. Uh, we can negate its effect and then send one monster you control to the graveyard. That's okay. Is it okay? So Psychic Rover 2 also got its effect negated. Oh my god, the double mill, man. Uh, the double mill, man. That is so lame. The double mill. Uh, please don't let that stop my fun, bro. Please. King of the swamp. Okay, we're gonna have to play around whatever fusion monstrosity comes out here. Hopefully it's play aroundable. A bowl. He's gonna send he's gonna send Dice Dungeon away. That's fine. We're just gonna flip this bad boy down into face defense. I don't think it has any way around it. Book of Moon. Dice Dungeon does go back to the deck, but that's totally fine because we're gonna dimension the dice once again. We're gonna send Psychic Rover, originally number one, to the graveyard and bring out, honestly, this is a little I'm gonna bring out Orgoth the Relentless. I'm not crazy, okay? Orgoth the Relentless comes out, and then Psychic Rover in the graveyard has to not hit a one or a six here. A two! That means Psychic Grover gets to come back! Boom! And that means he gets to roll! Let's let it fly! A five, so we don't get it there. Now Orgoth gets to get his effect. The way Orgoth works is if we get two of a three or four, we got two ones, but we can't be destroyed by effects until the end of our opponent's turn, which is fine. Now we're gonna get a little crazy here, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna Psychic Grover into the 1850, sending ourselves to the graveyard at a cost, allowing us to infinitely loop Psychic Grover, Getting a two, bringing him back in attack mode, letting him roll. Will he get it? A six, we get to destroy two cards. We're gonna pop and we're gonna uh, pop. Now we're back in business. Unfortunately, tier limits and meta decks can never say never, bro. You just can never let a Psychic Grover guy do his thing. You guys and your inability to let me have some fun, huh? I'm just gonna body him again, why not? Let Orgot the Relentless do the talking. Psychic Grover, destroy yourself again for 1850. Psychic Grover, come out of the graveyard again. A two, guess who's back? Back again, hey, he's back. Psychic Rover, roll again, we need another one or a six. He gets a three, we don't get it. Psychic Rover, go ahead, get rid of yourself. <laughs> this is just to put him in defense mode. We're taking a lot of damage here. A four, Psychic Rover, come back in defense mode. Boom, Psychic Rover, roll, one or a six, we really need it now. A four, we don't get it. So we have to end our turn with Fairy Tail Snow being on board and Orgoth the Relentless can't be taken out by battles or effect. We actually rolled destruction immunity on Orgoth. Oh, oh wow, if all three were the same, apply all of these effects? I didn't know that's how that worked. <laughs> that's a little crazy. But uh, if so if you get all three, Orgoth the Relentless becomes the strongest monster of all time, by the way. But because we rolled two of a one or two, we can't be destroyed by battle or card effect. He also would have got Pot of Greed if we got three or four. That would have been really good. Unfortunately, our opponent did bring out Tier Elements, uh, Kit, Kal Kit Kalos. So it's not looking good for us, fellas. It is very unfortunately not looking good for us. Kid Kalos is going to the graveyard, boys. Now again, because Orgoth stands alone here, oh no. Just because I can't be destroyed by battle or effects doesn't mean I can't be sent back to the deck. Oh no. Top five cards? You're insane. Oh no, he's gonna shuffle one of my psychic rovers away. This is unfair. Oh, the Krusty Krab is unfair. Mr. Krabs is in there. Oh, please. I only have one psychic rover now and I lost my attack. This gotta be one of the wildest decks of all time. Man. This, this, th I, I can't believe this could happen to a guy like me, man. I feel like we dueled pretty well for what we had. Maybe I could have taken less damage with ramming psychic rovers in. And you know, we could have drawn a little better too. I mean, our hand wasn't bad though, but we could have maybe hit the double dice roll but i don't mind orgoth being battle uh resistant here dice dungeon would have also been a nice pickup to leave on the field but i mean our opponent got rid of it i don't mind that i think that was a misplay by them so i can't be too upset double the attack oh no that's all you need to finish it no mercy 
Damn! Oh, the psychic rover damage actually mattered a lot. Damn. Well, that was still a great duel to show off the power of Psychic Rover. So I'm going to leave it off there. Just so you know, that card is actually really good. Psychic Rover is actually pretty sticky. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, obviously, in the cast hero matchup, it's... Uh, but I could have won that duel with Triple Tactic Talent. I bring it over. I dice... Regardless, I'm going to leave the video there. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video. Check out some of the other ones on your screen. Bye!